Hello, everybody, and welcome to the... <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this amazing game of Barony. In this video, I'd like to showcase the features coming in the brand new update, Eat My Hat. This update was just released in beta, so expect a few things to change before the full release. However, most features should remain pretty much the same. With that being said, let's first hop right into the biggest changes. New hats, masks, and helmets were added, with some old hats and helmets having fresh changes that buff your character. Not only do they look snazzy, but each new piece of equipment provides a completely diverse buff. Some examples range from a few extra points in any of your skills, massively increasing the stats of your followers, or even the ability to randomly mark enemies on your minimap to hunt down and gain increased gold for slaying. Many of these hats will be randomly found on the ground, but keep an extra eye out for other sources such as shopkeepers' chests and mini bosses such as Funny Bones and Coral Grimes. Something else you may notice are headpieces, specifically the steel variant, will have different appearances, as well as providing different stats depending on which one you decide to use. One may provide more armor, while the other provides more melee damage at the cost of armor. On top of the new hats and masks, each item now has a unique custom pixel art icon. We now have funny looking fish, and a gorgeous variety of ring and amulet icons. It takes just a little bit of time to get used to, but this is one of my favorite changes so far. Skills can also be modified based on the equipment you decide to use, such as masks and helmets increasing specific attributes like buffing melee stats or decreasing hunger. They can be conveniently viewed from the skill sheet, but something to keep in mind is that they cannot be increased over level 100, regardless of the increase in stats your equipment may provide. A new enemy has been introduced, known as the Mimic. It will spawn in randomly disguising itself as a normal chest, however once opened or damaged it'll spring up and charge at the player. Mimics have a massive health pool and deal a crazy amount of damage, so don't underestimate them. Something I want to briefly mention, and I just learned this while recording the footage, um, every time the Mimic attacks you, it has a small chance of stealing one of your currently equipped items, so just be a little careful when fighting them. Uh, you don't want to find yourself butt naked trying to beat a wooden box. Custom seeds are also now available. These can be adjusted and modified based on whatever type of run you'd like, giving a more custom tailored experience for beginners and pros. In addition to these new features, some others are important to take note. The Alembic has been removed entirely from the tinkering kit, but to take its place is now the tech goggles. These give you plus 50% tinkering deploy speed and a total immunity to friendly sentry turret damage. Also, the wanted status effect you receive from damaging the shopkeeper is now additionally tied into the sex of your character, providing another way to mask your identity. This means you can now change from male to female, or female to male, and remove the wanted status effect entirely, which, in my opinion, is such an underrated feature. Additionally, the swamp now features a few new tree textures, giving a little bit more depth to the environment, but most importantly, replacing those ugly two-dimensional tiles. Some smaller changes go to the Chrysalicados, getting a slight increase in attack speed, or I guess reduced, it fires just a little bit quicker now, um, a reduced frequency of follower idle noises, and a couple small bug fixes. And that about wraps up this update. It's not the biggest addition in content, however, it addresses a very niche and lackluster part of Barony. Although I don't think anyone was specifically asking for the helmet system to be overhauled, this was such an incredible update that no one was really asking for. This also paves the path for future system overhauls. I mean, who knows what they'll decide to do next? Maybe small pets being added that give small stat boosts? Or class outfits that represent your prestige in Barony, like gaining golden weapon skins after beating the game? Or maybe flares on player name tags? Maybe even snazzy spawn-in effects after descending each level. Whatever it is, I'm excited. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I greatly appreciate you for watching, and if you like this content, why not consider following along? I have a lot of fun making these videos, and I hope you have as much fun watching them.